Greetings, members one and all of the Salivation Nation. It is Friday night, and you know what that means. That means we are going to discuss some of your comments and respond to them live. Interact with those of you in the chat here. Have a good time. Hope everybody has had a good week as we wrap it up. It has uh, been quite an interesting day, for sure, in terms of the precious metals. And it has been an interesting week in terms of... Uh, what's been going on here in the United States. Uh, but good to see you all here. We've got Stacking Points as first to make it here tonight. Good to see Stacking Points. Welcome, sir. And Danger, uh, Carlos Danger is here as well. Hello, Carlos. Good to see you. Indeed. All right. We're going to move up through here. We have some comments we're going to get on through here. Let me get my border plate stuff here. Bear with me as I get it going here. What is going on here? Where is it? Where is it? Here we go. All right. We've got uh, uh, Chris and Numismatic is here. We've got uh, Terry is here. Hello, Terry. And Steve Gerard is here. Hello, Steve. Good to see you, sir. Hello, Darstagger. All right. I want everyone to know that I predicted $25.50 silver for today, two days ago. Nice job, Darth. You did it. Way to go. All right. Way to go. Man, some people are really good with the predictions. And Darth is one of them indeed. All right, very, very good. So let's uh, let's continue here. Let me get this thing going here. All right. Hello, he cheated. Good to see he cheated. Welcome. All right, uh, Gringo says, I'm getting ready to pounce today, and my work computer is a major distraction. Wish I could just watch the slide and hit it at the right. Hit it right at the best price. I know what you mean. And boy, that would be nice for sure. All right, very good. Mr. VTech, hello, good to see you. Welcome. Welcome you and the Raza Manaza is present and accounted for. Salvador Dalinian from New Mexico, hello, good to see you. Carl Warpy is saying hello from the United Kingdom. The Mr. VTech, thank you so much for being here. MM126 is reminding me that um, Rhodium is at $18,000. Yes, indeed. Crazy. Audience says, it's at $25.75 now. The reason given for sell-off in silver, rising treasury yield. Yep, I talked about that in today's video. Exactly right. It will be further stimulus. T-Square Talk says, come on, my friend, if silver's, it's silver's time. 45 is my number this year. Great to be here. Nice job. All right, so he's predicting a little higher price. It seems like it should be, for sure. All right, and CyberCurrent Twitcher I think you all know why gold took a hit today. It took it because CCT just bought some before the big drop. That's why, man. Uh, Mistro99 says, hello, Silver Slurper. Yes, indeed. Hello. All right. Mm. All right. Very good. Mark Nordgaard, $15 for silver and $1,500 for gold is his prediction. Okay. Very good. I think he's prevented that uh, provided that before he thinks it's gonna go down all right Eric says good poo good timing just got home from work all right La Petite Silver is here welcome to honorary citizen thank you La Petite Silver you are the man by the way I gotta shout out La Petite Silver uh, I think it was him if I've got the name correct because uh, we've had a couple of exchanges in emails and I kind of forgot who is who but he sent me three uh, uh, sent me three capsules for Libertads, five ounce Libertads, which is very nice of them. Very cool. So thank you, sir. They fit absolutely perfectly. So thank you so much for that, my friend. Highlander Stacken is here for the first super chat of the night. Thank you, Highlander. Good to see you, sir. Check out his channel, by the way. Highlander Stacken's got a great channel. Fist bump action. I'm gonna slurp right back at you. And Donald, New Mexico is here. All right, Donald, all right. Silver Wolverine, good to see you, Slow Joe. Yes, I know, exactly, crazy. Oh, man, good to see you. Yes, indeed. Impeach, yes, we should start the impeachment proceedings right away. Well, but then again, if we do that, then that means that Kamala Harris will be president. All right. Silver Steeler is on the road getting dinner. I'll stop by and try to catch you on Sunday. All right, no problem. Thanks, Silver Steeler. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Thanks, and say hello to any image photography. Appreciate you so much. Thanks so much for the like. 
And Nate Palm Death is here. Mike Miller is here. Good crowd popping in here tonight, I must confess. DJ A. Silver says, I agree with you. Thank you. <clears throat> All right. Agrees with me on this price prediction. The Silver Surfer is here. Sal Jinxon by predicting silver would drop. Yes. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Okay, this must be the place. Says over here. Thank you. Over here. Alaska Land. The next administration will be Trump's second term and new VP, perhaps Flynn. Yes. Um, I do I wonder people looking at and parsing those words because it doesn't necessarily say that it would um, necessarily be what administration, but I still think it's going to be uh, the Biden administration. But uh, there is a little small little wiggle room, though, he left in that, and he didn't uh, concede either. People mistakenly said, I was very careful with my language when I said that. Mark Nordgaard says, and, and gold crashes down today in Bitcoin more than 41,000. Yes. Crazy how high Bitcoin is going. It's gone parabolic. Who's your stackers here? Hello. Good to see you. Oh, I know. Silver Wolverine. Uh, the Nancy Pelosi wants to um, impeach Trump. And he wants. she also wants, um, before that happens, wants Pence to uh, do the 25th Amendment thing. It's crazy. Uh, Bob Sullivan says, 48th, and I beat Silver Honda. You got it. You beat him. Silver Honda's got to get on the ball again. He's been pressured by Rocky and others. But anyways, uh, Mr. m, &M eleven gold will drop to $1,800 soon, possibly lower, but only for a short while. Be ready to purchase. Yes. All right. I think you could be right. I think, and that's actually what uh, was talked about in today's video. So Mr. m, &M eleven you're kind of, Right there on target there. Abby Bella Silverstack, how are you doing, my friend? Long time no see. I hope you're doing well. Thank you so much for popping in here. Yes, indeed. It is a Friday night. We've got Abby Bella's Silverstack amongst us tonight. Thank you. All right. And Nathan got 20 silver maples with my stimulus check the other day. Congratulations. I haven't gotten one yet. Um, yeah, I haven't, it has not come by in my general direction yet. No stimulus for me. Um, and it says direct deposits. They say they're supposed to be come out even quicker this time than last time. I would have thought would have come out here. So anyway, um, please give your definition of dollar cost averaging. Um, Dar Stacker, I'm going to do a video on that topic. Um, so stay tuned for it. But I have my, I do have my own little definition of it. Um, so stay tuned. I would definitely be talking about that yes for sure all right let's see here hold on one second this well no it went away i was hoping it was a call but it could have been legitimate i didn't want to take the chance of answering a legitimate call there but anyways it's highlander stacking is drinking some beers tonight and look at that hey don on new mexico there's highlander stacking he's he's equal there with you he's he's turned green too um, you two guys are my earliest uh, supporters there. Very cool. Thank you get both so much. All right. All right. Very good. Silver Wolverine, gold is on discount. It sure is. Yes, indeed, sir. It is on discount. All right. Oh, that's my next big video as well. Okay, cool. All right, Darth. Awesome. Very good. Uh, nice. Let's see. He wants some stimulation, Donald. Yeah, there you go. Exactly. Good to see the petite silver. All right. Timothy Winnington says, thanks. Thank you, Timothy. Got the gold mask on there. Looks like or something. I don't know. That's a makeup there on his face or that face there. Most important commodity is coffee. Indeed. That's for sure. You got it. You got it. Hello, David Carlisle. Good to see you. All right. Let's see here. David Gonzalez, I got a question. Is a emergency issue 2021 Silver Eagle in the works? Um, eBay and Bullion Sharks have them on pre-sale. February 5th, emergency issues might be their own subcategory. Let me know what you think. I've not heard of that. Uh, Anybody is saying, stating or providing them for sale as an emergency issue, quote, unquote, is using a, I've not heard that. That's a false pretense because so far I've not heard the mint shunting, shutting down or anything like that or what have you. So I would not, I would never buy that anyway. Anything where, where, the, uh, where you can't notice by looking at a coin what the difference is, is, is something that I would not, uh, would not purchase. By any stretch of the imagination. Hello, Platinum Beast. Good to see you. Sneaky Somalia. 
Good to see you. All right. And Terrell is here. Hello, Terrell. Good to see Terrell. Yes, indeed. She had a good video, a live stream on Wednesday. I kind of watched part of it. I missed it, though. But she uh, did some good stuff, staying positive, And it was a great, great time. But Terrell's got a great channel. Check her out. Thank you so much for popping in, Terrell. All right. Yeah, gimmick. I meant gimmick. Did I say gimmick? Gimmick? Gimmicky. Gimmicky. Maza says, found out today that any imports in the UK are facing a 20% VAT charge. And that makes a one ounce bullion uncirculated coin a precious item indeed. Time to rethink the precious metal. No VAT on gold. So may cash out silver and, and go gold. Really do want to see collections go, but there's maybe troubles ahead. Having said that, they appear to already be upon us. As belts tighten, who will be buying silver? Yes. Crazy. Although, I think the VAT, uh, for all imports, but all silver, I guess silver sold out of country will be taxed. I thought that was already the case in the United Kingdom. Unless, unless I'm wrong, I don't know. But anyways. Okay. Gold, says Funk Tad, 2340 and silver... 3771. So he's actually very specific in his calls for gold and silver. Ain't in the air, all right. AA Ron, what's your favorite rock band? Well, I'm more into metal. So um I it's really hard to say. My favorite metal band. Um dang. I don't know. Testament, maybe? I don't know. There's so many good ones in their own way. There's I love uh Carcass too. Um Love me some uh, some of the Iced Earth, Tim Ripper, Owens era Iced Earth is my favorite Iced Earth. Hello, Dissonant Aggressor. Good to see you. All right. Hello, Martin Simmons. Thank you. Blessings to you. Thank you so much. Michael Kramer is here. Good to see you. As I slurp in your general direction. M. Nice says, it is incredible to think it is entirely possible silver ends a year under $20. And gold, $1,700 or below. Anything is possible, and we should all remember that. That's true. That's true, but that is not M. Nice's prediction. Okay. Slip cannot. Yeah, Slip cannot's okay, but they're not really my favorite. I saw them in concert. Um, but, you know, and they're heavy and all, but just, I don't know. I've not really embraced a whole lot of uh, Slip cannot, really. Pantera's a pretty good band, yeah. Or was a good band. Half the band's dead now, unfortunately. Uh, Judas Priest is pretty cool. Just ask this in an aggressor. And ask Terrell. Terrell actually covered a Judas Priest song on her channel. And she's a singer. She does a lot of R&B and stuff like that. But uh, And also Slayer's a good band, too. Yes, indeed. Slayer's a good band. And we have Slayer Stacker here. Coming to us from the Seasons in the Abyss. That is the album cover that it makes his profile picture. All right. Let's see here. <clears throat> Where are we at? Okay. Mr. Exclusive says, if you watch eBay and other sites, people are already paying 30 to $40 for an ounce of silver. I no longer feel spot really matches physical. I do data collection on my own time and surf thousands of ads weekly and observe What's selling and at what price online? If, so spot is thirty five dollars an ounce. I imagine people will panic and demand will rise to a superior level. I agree. I believe at thirty five at spot these higher premiums people want to pay forty to fifty dollars an ounce. I could see that if it moves up there fairly quickly, but if it slides into thirty five dollars an ounce through the course of the year, I don't necessarily think those premiums and there'll be that much of a a direction to move up but, but we'll see here hello calvin cooper good to see you good to see all you guys welcome everybody yeah patsy klein is cool you know i went to a patsy klein concert once and the pit was brutal the moshing people there were razor blades in there people were throwing elbows and and oh my gosh it was crazy yes there he goes terrell remembers the name of the song the before the donk she did an awesome song on that awesome job on that song by the way as she does for all of her tunes but I just love that. That was so cool. Thank you so much again for doing that for me. That that warmed my heart, indeed. Okay. Let's see here. Okay. Beautiful looking coin, my friend. Thank you, Omega Shadows. Appreciate that. 
uh, will work free you says my prediction for 2021 lots of pain i think so too we're i mean lots of pain <clears throat> uh, i think there's going to be pain for sure over government overreach over regulation higher taxes um you know probably more stringent lockdowns and things like that yeah it's um i worry for our nation all right let's see here okay silver to the moon all right we can take it into a rocket ship and let's go up to, to the moon mm. ah, let's see here as i slurp on some more coffee and jim c says i think you're right but silver will pull back until February, when it pulls back a little, I will be buying. All right. Yes, indeed. Well, we did see a pretty big pullback today. $25 an ounce. I think that's part of the reason why some people feel it could go lower. Hello, VT Ryder. Good to see you. And moving up. Pete Rock, gold at 33000 Silver at 1000 Okay. Well, there you go. We shall see. I knew we we're going to get some pretty crazy predictions there. Hello, my kitten is a black belt. Welcome. My kitty doesn't wear any belts. Not None whatsoever. None whatsoever. Winston tastes good like a cigarette should. I remember those old ads That's, uh, from the uh, Beverly Hillbillies. Got them on DVD. CCT is here. All right, CCT. And Terry misses Tricky Guy. I miss Tricky Guy, too. I think he finally got perturbed with me. All right. Hello, Silversmith Shield. Good to see you, sir. Welcome. Silversmith Shield is here. Okay, Pete Rock says, I wonder how many ounces of silver you need to buy a brand new car. Well, according to your predictions, it's going to probably be about 20 <laughs> to, buy a, to buy a new car. If it's one of those, you know, Hondas or something like that, you know, or 21 or 22. Perhaps. Mark B. had some black silk coffee last night. Here's a slurp in your general direction. Mmm. Nice. Nice. Cool. Over here. Went grocery shopping today. It was crazy. People were throwing elbows, smashing grocery carts. I had a good time. Nice. That's where all the action is anymore. You get that crazy uh, grocery store music playing and people just get rough. They go nuts in the pit. Tony got 20 ounces of 2020 Libertads after my two-week vacation in Mexico. Did you get them in Mexico? That's awesome. All right. He cheated, says 489,000 more jobs lost in trouble. Metals need to start moving up. I think they will. I do think they will for sure. Yes, indeed. Hello, Native Stacker. Good to see you. Biden just announced he will not attend his inauguration. Oh my goodness gracious. Silver Scientist says dollar index is rising because of the money that went into U.S. Treasuries. Won't last long. That's like getting a personal loan to pay yourself. It will backfire. All right. Yep, crazy, crazy. Sean Swan Silver, hello from the U.K. Thank you so much for being here. Hello. Welcome, welcome. Eric, uh, to check today and saw... I had a fat sum deposit in the old account. No government check, though, was my paycheck. Guess I'll resort to self-stimulation. There you go, brother. Yes, indeed. That's the best way to get money is through self-stimulation, for sure. You can buy a pretty nice used car with $100 of pre-33 gold. That's true, Le Petit Silver. Very true. Exactly right. Hello, Mad Stacker. Good to see you. Platinum Beast is still here with us. Platinum Beast. Your one-stop shop for platinum. Good stuff on platinum. I love platinum. I like it a lot. All right. Let's see here. Phil Brown, good to see you too. Jimmy Green, $25.94 silver spot price right now, January the 8th, 2021. That's right. Johnny B, my prediction for silver is $52 an ounce by June, then level off to 40 But I'm no financial advisor. The Democrats will be extremely bad for the economy. Yes. All right. Well, we shall see. We shall see. And Bill 457 says, after January 20th, if silver stays where it's at now, it may go up uh, every sea, the, the towering inferno, where they use aluminum wiring and the building burnt down. Uh, a lot depends on electronic companies 
use. If they use silver, will it help the market? Yes, it's true. Yep. All right. Uh, okay, let's see. Moving up. James McDonald says, I'm going with $62 silver by the year's end. Slightly above silver is all the time high. And Sal's predictions don't have to be accurate, only entertaining. That's right, exactly. This is for entertainment purposes partially. That's right, exactly. <clears throat> Coin collecting fun. All right, says awesome. Thank you so much, ZCF. Appreciate you, brother. Raymond Whitehouse says, love the show, Sal, always. 2011, we hit $50 silver. Surely the world has a better place and the countries of the world were in better shape back then than now. What's reconciled? Yeah, well, I think a lot of it is just, um, you know, we, well, as of right now and where things were, potential, we're still waiting to see what happens with this COVID thing and, how, and the effectiveness of these, of these uh, vaccines, you know, and we really won't know until the numbers go down, but everybody's hoping. And I talked about that in today's video. I think that's just it. The power of positive thinking. Norma Vincent Peale, I think, is the guy. So I think that's kind of where they're at on this. Hoosier Stacker will be quite interesting to see what the markets do Sunday. The PM crash started late today. Probably not done yet. Um, yes, probably not. And I talked about that in today's video. Uh, one of the analysts mentioned that today, too. So I think you're right. It'll be very interesting to see what we what we find out on um, um what we find out on Sunday night. I'm for sure. All right. Thank you. Buy on the dip, says Scott Russell. Yes. Buy on the dip. Silver's getting slammed today. Yes. It sure is. Somebody said almost 10% drop at one point in time. Kalonic is here. Kalonic Stacker with a just one simple word. Hi. He just said hi right there, Just, but it was an explosive hello. It was just like, hi, and there he is, Kalonic, the one and the only. Okay, Biro Kingstar says, good, nice silver coin for 2021, Biro Kingstar. All right, thank you so much. Yes, thank you. All right, Scott Russell says, smooth transition to Trump 2.0. He won't have Pence, so it will be a new administration. Watch the military take down everyone, all right? Scott and I have a little wager on this, so we'll see what happens, see who wins. Uh, Stampede out of metals and the cryptos in progress. I think that's part of it, as I talked about in today's video. We shall see. All systems go, 10 days of darkness, yes. Scott truly believes that that's going to happen. We'll see here. Hello, Cleo Catcher. Good to see you. Purrs. I purr in Cleo's general direction as such, just like this. That should be in stereo. I hope that has, uh, I hope that has done something for Cleo Catra. And we stimulate a little juice flowing, that little purr action there. Slava Key says, cryptos are distracting investors from buying gold and silver. That's the reason it's not strong, Sal. I think that's part of it, but I don't think that's all of it. And I think that's a fairly small part of it. By the way, we're missing, uh, we're missing, um, um, oh, Barbara Carbone. We're missing Barbara Carbone here. Gas Grill says that's a disturbing sound. Do you believe in magic? All right. I'm missing, missing Barbara Carbone. All right. Steve Wood says I would be happy with $40 an ounce. Hopefully it can uh, stake a level of $35 or so that it finds nearly impossible to break below. All right. Yes, we'll see, Steve. Thank you. People that get mad at Sal are the same people who get up and walk out of the comedy club and the comedian says an offensive joke to relate. Yeah, yeah, I know. I know. Sometimes, and I know I've been known to say some things that are uh, offensive um, or some people find offense at. I don't like to necessarily pick on people, but I have had some people unsubscribe from my channel um, recently. 
for some of the things I've said. But, um, you know, you, if you disagree with me, that's fine. You, I don't always uh, espouse a particular view. I talk mostly precious metals, but um, uh, but anyways. But yeah, so it happens, and I guess that's going to be the way it is. It's, it's sad. I know I, I lost one subscriber uh, for the exact opposite reason. Uh, because she didn't think I was tough enough um, on a certain position. And um, so, I don't know, it's just sad. You would think it would be friendship, and especially if you've been here a while, would would last a little longer, or, or would, you know, than a disagreement over one particular issue. All right, uh, Crizzy Soup says, Some sources say that platinum will do very well, but it may take several years because electrical vehicles are temporary, and will be completely replaced by hydrogen vehicles. Yes. And people don't realize these electric vehicles, uh, to not only produce them, but to uh, make the batteries and to keep them running involves a lot more fossil fuels being burnt. Uh, so anyways, but yeah, it's crazy. All right. Let's see here. Where are we at? Hello, Peter Grace. Good to see you. <clears throat> okay, let's see here. Right. Hey, thanks, Mad Stacker. You're awesome. I appreciate you guys. You know, and I appreciate those who have uh, stuck with me who have differing viewpoints than I have on certain topics and things, um, mainly politics. That's where I think it divides a lot of people's politics or faith. But anyways, but, you know, I don't, my viewpoints are not uh, something that I say to make people mad. It's just my viewpoints. But I don't talk. I don't want to talk about it too much in videos. But anyways, Donald, New Mexico. I'm now hearing the Trump. So here he goes. And see, and what I do is I respond to people who, when I usually bring politics up, it's usually in a response to what other people say. And I'm going to address this comment from Donald. And see, the thing is, is Donald and I disagree uh, strongly. But uh, you know, I don't have to worry about him leaving because he, he we're friends and we under, we understand each other. We understand our differences. But, you know, with, with, with what happened at the rally uh, was like less than one percent uh, were involved in this action, this takeover of the Capitol. But Trump had absolutely nothing to do with it. And he never um, um, he condemned it completely, told them to stop. And he condemned it in his speech and said that they're lawbreakers and have nothing to do with him. And uh, I think that was a pretty strong condemnation. I think uh, uh, Trump should be praised because never once has he called for rioting, looting, and especially for, for what happened yesterday or uh, Wednesday night. Okay. Uh, Klonic Stacker agrees with me, even if we disagree on the moon landing. All right. Thank you. All right. Cleo Catcher, remember the Jimmy Carter came, Ronald Reagan, so there is hope. Uh, yes, that's true. After Jimmy Carter came, Ronald Reagan. And we, that's what I, I would love to see another Ronald Reagan. That would be so cool. Uh, Ronald Reagan, uh, that was, um, um, anyways, all right. Okay, Salvador, see, there you go. He's gone. He's unsubscribing because I'm a Trump supporter. See if Salvador... May the door hitch in the way out. If you're that much of a snowflake and going to leave just because I said a little statement about Donald Trump and my support for him, um, then you can just, I'll see you later. You're welcome to come back anytime, Salvador. But, and that's just it. And, uh, you know, there's good friends that I, that I, that I follow that I know are Democrats or liberals or whatever you want to call them. But I'm not going to just Unsub or unsubscribe for them because I have a different viewpoint. You know, it's just crazy. That's why I appreciate people like Donald in New Mexico. And Donald in New Mexico is always free to uh, post whatever he wants, whatever viewpoints he has. This is a channel that I love to see the, um, I love to see uh, people's opinions. And, um, and, you know, I think that's what it's about. It's about being able to express yourself and this is a place where you can express yourself even if you um, disagree with me. You know, it's no problem. <clears throat> so anyways. Uh, 
Alexander says, not worth the trouble. Just leave the politic alone. YouTube is going after folks. Me and you don't really agree on most anything, but I hope you read this list. Yeah. And, and you know, the thing is, is um, it's, it's not, uh, it's, most of most of what I talk about is going to be in live streams on the politics side once in a while, especially over this contested election, which I still feel needs to be investigated for for election fraud. But other than that, it's mostly talked about with regards to the markets. In other words, how it affects gold and silver. Um, and so it's it's the that's the kind of thing with the context where I mostly like to discuss it. But once in a while, I'm gonna I'm gonna post my views, or I'm going to um, respond to other people who have differing views on comments or what have you. So, like I said, um, people like Donald in New Mexico, Barbara Carbone, I love those guys because even though we disagree politically, um, we know we're friends in the end, and we don't let that get in the way. So thank you again, Donald. Appreciate you. All right, uh, I wish I could pronounce this exactly right, but Crazy Suift. Sal, if you have the chance, buy yourself a one ounce maple from 1987 to 1989. They are the best struck maples to date. Ah, I will have to check that out. Okay, very good. I'll have to look for those. Uh, are you talking about the silver? No, I guess that would be the gold because they didn't make the the silver maples until 1988. That was the first year for that. Stacking Sword Trooper. No, this thing is not on. Um, press the reboot and power up again. Good to see Stacking Stormtrooper. Welcome. Uh, good to see you. Thank you so much for being here. Here is my impersonation of Stacking Troop Stormtrooper impersonating me. Yes, indeed. Here we go. We're going to slurp here with the Hydro Flask. The Hydro Slurp. Here we go. Mm, yes, indeed. All right. Very good. That's my impersonation of Stacking Stormtrooper impersonating me all right yes indeed okay okay let's see all right thank you guys all right sarah weave good to see you and tjan good to see you and uh and let's see. scott russell's in here hello scott good to see you and azir blue thank you love you sal thank you so much azir blue thank you so much my friend he says i support you i thank you I, it means a lot we've got a lot of good friends in here i really do appreciate you all definitely and um and so that's good so all right stormy farted in his bucket oh my gosh wake up look around you you guys are old and scared of technology i'm scared of it ken Shin Shin Z. i'm scared of the technology i'm too scared of it i don't know what to i need more of a nasally voice i try to do need that nasally voice right. it's inception inside inception it's the third level of dreams right it's the third level of inception that's right it's folding over in the inceptionation of inceptionism Oh. Steve Woods is here. Nice car, dude. Good to see you. Welcome. Okay. Uh, Llama Boy says, Silver is tanking too hard right now. Lots of worries going through my head. You know, I posted that video right as the market started to drop. I recorded the video yesterday. In my defense, I'm being defensive about my defense. No, I'm kidding. I don't know. Yeah, I just posted it. So it's amazing how quickly the news changes nowadays. It's It's nuts. Eric says, Sal, I fear I may never be able to finish my ASC monster box at this rate. I know. But hey, with a dip, you might be able to get a little bit more now. Donna New Mexico, you didn't read my comment. Uh, shoot. Well, I know you basically you're blaming Trump. I think that's pretty much the bottom line, okay? I think we get the gist of it, but I'm sorry. But uh, let's see here. Peak around $34 average for the year, $23. I read something there about COVID, too. <clears throat> let's see here. Okay, let's see here. Uh, Mafugo Q-Laid says, Before I listened, I, rate, I said $40 on average of 32 Not far off of yours. Still looking for the deals and stacking. Good job. All right. So we were pretty close, you and I, on that, were on that for my predictions. Okay. Very good. MS says, negative uh, 8.26% at the moment. No wonder people are dumping the manipulated metal and moving to Bitcoin. Yes. Yep, well, it does seem like that is a part of it. That is what I, part of what I talked about today. We'll see here. Uh, yeah, very very little bit there. Basically, Stacking Stormtrooper, I just said that um, I mentioned a, 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 a response to a comment and somebody got triggered and left because 
because I showed a little support for Donald Trump, and he's like, "Oh, I'm out of here. Trump's, a, I'm unsubscribing. I'm gone." He was like, "I was like, okay, see you later." So, anyways, all right. Hello, Slacker Stacker is here. Hello, Slacker Stacker. I don't want to hear the truth. Well, Donald New Mexico, uh, with plenty of offense, most all of your posts are about blaming Trump. So it's more of the same. You know what I mean? And it's not to say that Trump isn't uh, his own worst enemy at times with some of the things he tweets and says and all that stuff. And again, this is me being intellectually honest. And yes, sometimes Trump makes mistakes, but it's not, he's not the cause of all the murder and problems of the world. There's got to be blame somewhere else. You know what I'm saying? We've got to blame. So, sometimes it's not, uh, sometimes it's not always Trump's fault. You know, can I say that safely? Is that safe to say? Stacking Stormtrooper is shocked and awed that I would support Trump. This is just breaking. All right, everybody, breaking news, everybody. I am a Trump supporter. Yes, indeed. I'm a Trump supporter. All right. Ah, yes, indeed. And Ken Chen Kenji is also a Trump supporter. I deem him that right now. He is a Trump supporter. Ken Ken Shen Kenji is a 100% Trump supporter. All right. I'm about a 98.5% Trump supporter. Ken Chen Kenji is a hundred. All right, there you go. See, Terry is there. You go. Terry has got it in the right direction. It's really. That it's I should get the blame. Give me the blame for it. Put a little bit of blame on me. I'm jealous of Trump. So Terry is at least, that's right. Donald, you should learn a lesson from Terry. Blame me a little bit. Come on, I'm a little bit jealous. Trump has blood on his hands. Yeah, there you go. Exactly, there you go. Where's the unsub button? There's no one sub button. That's right. There's only a subscribe button. That's right, VP Rider. Thanks. All right, let's see here. <laughs> okay, let's see. I'm right, moving on up. Joe Russell Manando says, I didn't see anything in the U.S. Mint product list yet. I'm curious when they plan on doing this. I don't think it's going to, I think it's going to be a little bit. Um, uh, you know, I don't know that the Mint can actually do anything until it actually becomes law, even though it's, it was a pretty good chance that this would be signed and it's been talked about for really a couple of years now. They probably need to actually get something going before they can add it to the list. All right, very good. Eric, um, I blame the, my governor. I don't care what's wrong with the world. Andrew Cuomo is an effing tool. That's right. Yes. Hey, and Terrell makes a good point. Do you know how much Trump got paid to be president? Guess how much Trump got paid to be president for all those four years in office? Four bucks. That's right. By law, he has to take a salary. So he's taking one dollar a year. The rest of it, every quarter, goes to some char charitable organization. But you'll never hear about that on the news, for sure. All right, very good. Anyways, let's see here. Platinum blames Uncle Sal for telling me PMs would go up, and they didn't. So I'm going to sue him for misleading me and my money and make my decision to buy PMs in my stack. That's right. Oh, my goodness gracious. Native says Trump needs to man up and accept responsibility. He knew about COVID in October 2019 and admitted it, was worried about the economy more. Um, well, we didn't know exactly, no one knew how much, and I don't know, I don't, I don't know if it was October 2019, but no one knew exactly how dangerous it was really fully until probably March, April. They were still, we're still learning a lot about it, but how contagious it is and everything like that. I don't think anybody really knew, but he took the most drastic action at the earliest time, um, and uh, which was on the end of January, he shut down travel from uh, China and uh, Europe. And I would say that was a pretty big action that probably saved a heck of a lot of lives. But anyways, yes, he was paid in Diet Cokes and Big Macs. That's right. All right. But anyways, let's see here. Let's see here. An old saying, politics is like a butthole. Everyone has one and they all stink. There you go. Exactly right. Yes, indeed. Okay, let's see. Okay, moving on up. Coins, USA. I bought a lot of silver. 2020 Eagles this past year, but some are like matte and some are super shiny. Why is this? Good question. Um, now, were they were all the same year? 
Um, typically, it's not... Sometimes some uh, of those coins, some of the very beginning or early strikes, or I say the, the first strikes on the die itself, uh, have a more of a defined finish, and maybe they're, they vapor blasted the dies a little bit, and then they less of them, less so as the year goes on, or this die wear happens. I think that's what's happening. Um, and so I think that is probably what you're talking about there. Back in the mid-2000s, 2004 to 2006, there was a very high level of frost on the eagles. And it was something to uh, witness because some of them had really distinct finish and variations of finishes on them. Um, and some of them were not, uh, some of them were not, oh, very consistent, I'll just say, in the finishes. But anyways, all right. Good question there. Larry. Um, time to back the truck up this weekend, boys. Yeah, it very well could be a good time to buy. Okay, let's see here. Will you be taking the vaccine? Um, no, Terrell, I am a little nervous about it. Um, I, you know, and again, I applaud all the efforts of the, um, of the, to get it done and in time, but there's so much we just don't know about what the potential side effects will be uh, medium to long term. Um, so I'm kind of just waiting out for that. And, uh, and you know, I don't know. So that's why I don't think they should force it either. But are you planning on taking it, Terrell? CCT, did Coins USA buy fake silver? Um... Super shiny, yeah. Uh, well... Depends on how he would define super shiny. I'm assuming he bought uh, legitimate ones, but I guess he could have bought fake, fake ones. I could have bought fake. I'd have to see pictures of it. I would have to see pictures of that. All right, let's see here. CCT, it's a nice thought, but I'll be cashing out some of my stack if this happens. Okay, all right. Yes, and some people I know, you're not the only one. There's some people that are nervous. They've seen silver go up to um, the high 40s and then go back down to the mid-teens. And they're like, man, uh, if it goes up again, I'm getting out. <coughs> or I'm selling a lot of it. Mm. Uh, let's see here. All right, Terrell is adamant. She's not taking it either. All right. All right, very good. <clears throat> I love my job, so here's something to brighten your day on Sunday. Let me open that up in a new tab and another window. Oh, shoot. <clears throat> I don't know if that's something you want me to play or not, CCT. Let's see here. All right. <clears throat> Sorry, but I don't trust anyone. Who doesn't know what bathroom to use or if they have any or Audi. Oh my gosh. Hello, uh, Gold Maple is here. Good to see you. By the way, I have a video coming sometime soon. Don't know exactly when that Gold Maple is going to really, really like. There's no mistake about it. He's going to really, really like it for sure. Yeah, sorry about that. Uh, this coffee I drink, I put cinnamon in it because I hear it's good for you. And sometimes it gets caught in my throat. Ah, yes, indeed. All right, very good. Century Sylvia says, be all right, dude. It's just a boleon. Just a boleon. I'm not sure exactly what that means, but thank you, Century Sylvia. Good to see you. Happy New Year. All right. Scott Russell says, but I found out it was a sting operation that worked magnificent. They seized 12 laptops that will prove the Vatican was in control of the election results. Viva the Vatican now. Whoa. <clears throat> wow, that's interesting. Man, that would be something else. Crazy. Well, imagine if they went and got Nancy Pelosi's laptop and found a bunch of criminality on it. That would be something else to see. Jeff Kittleson says, May 1 silver will start its climb towards $50 by end of the year. Could be 65 My prediction says Jeff. All right. Yes, indeed. 
Who just stuck her? That's what she said. Caught, yes, that's right. Caught in my throat. Do a real push-up. All right, yes, I should probably do some push-ups. Right, let me do some push-ups for Donald in New Mexico. Here we go. All right. I'm going push it up. I'm pushing up. Here we go. Are we ready? And a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two. 23, 24, 25, 26, oh, uh, 26, one for each year of my age, oh, dang it, there's Donald in New Mexico with the fake, light clockwork, right as soon as I got up to look, there I see it, fake, Sal doesn't flush after he's done with push-ups, <laughs> that's right, I do not flush after I'm done with push-ups, it's true. Uh, wow. Let's see here. Uh, nice car dude. My dad tested for COVID and he had no symptoms and did not get sick. Wow. Uh, well, some people don't. There's some people where they, where they don't get sick. Others that are much younger can get it and get very sick. So it just depends. It's different for each person. It's a very weird thing. Michael... Matthew Craig, I'm working on the iOS version of an app that appraises silver and gold scrap. Matthew, that is super impressive. That's amazing. Um, you're working in an actual app that will appraise silver and gold scrap. That is really cool. That is pretty neat. That is something I think will do well. It's called immunity, says Matthew. Yes, false positive COVID test. Perhaps, yeah. If you have a sinus infection, it'll show as corona. All right. Let's see here. Terry, hi, Sal. That's a bull prediction. Silver's already peaked this year, and the only place it can go is down. Well, so far, you've been proven right today, Terry. It's gone down. That's why she says silver still sucks. And, you know, honestly, seriously... Because of the volatility of silver, and um, I can understand why people are getting turned off with it. You know, I really can. Um, but anyways, but it's something that you, it's a long-term proposition for sure. And uh, sometimes it takes a little longer than some people have patience for. So I can totally understand where you're coming from in that. CCT, the link I posted was just my intro, destroying some fake silver. Oh, there you go. All right, cool. YouTuber Uneducated Economist was talking about the R-Star that's forecasting an interest rate rise. This will do, what will this do for prices for PMs? Every 1% rise and real estate falls 11%. Interesting. All right. <clears throat> Let's see here. Where are we at? Okay. Testicles, boobs, silver boobs. Have a blessed day. Yes, indeed. All right. Will do. Okay. Go Maple. Couldn't hear me. Okay. Yeah, Go Maple. You're going to really love a video that I'm going to be posting sometime soon. I can't say exactly when, but it's going to be a video that you're really going to love. That's what I was. That's what I said earlier. Okay. Yeah, where's Gold Chick Vibafell? MM126. I'm kind of concerned. Are you... Uh, far too out of breath for that few push-ups. Do you want a treadmill? It's only about a quarter ounce goal for one. Um, yeah, I did 26. Um, but I'm better now. I've recovered now. But yeah, I get a little breathy because I kind of go through them there. But I do, I do aerobic exercise too. But, uh, yeah. I mean, I do the, the treadmill about 20 minutes a day, maybe a little less. So you're saying I shouldn't be that out of breath for 26 push-ups, maybe? Let's see here. 
Matthew, I meant having a disease without symptoms is called immunity or being a care. Oh, okay, yes. Stacking Stormtrooper, tell your chat to calm down with the name calling. Soon wrenches are going to be thrown, people in timeouts. Oh, I didn't see any name calling. Yeah, don't call each other names. You can call me names, but don't, uh, don't call each other names. You know what I mean? Let's try to be respectful of each other. All right. Very good. Let's see here. Okay, where are we at? Tessa Cunningham. Government is bad. They love to cheat and steal your money. How much more richer would it be uh, as a nation or, or people without the government we have? You have a blessed day, Sal. I'm sure it will rise. The fiat dollar is useless. Yes, I think it's going to continue to... I think it's going to rise. I do still think this year it's going to go back up. For sure. All right. Let's see here. Frank Imperato. The time I'm watching this video, silver is at $24.70. You caught it at the low for today. Crazy. Will W, silver and gold tanking hard right now. Good, I can stack more while stacking is good before the dollar falls, gets pushed down the stairs. Yep, take advantage of the dips. <clears throat> All right. The end is coming soon. Six billion dollar gold deposit found in Turkey, says Emmetel Dahir. Very good, thank you. And uh, PM prices are dropping like a rock. Time to buy. Yes. Aloha Stacker. I'm with you on this. I think over $30 is going to happen this year. I think so too. I think it will. All right. And like the humor at the end, Sal. Thank you so much, my friend. Appreciate that. King Neutron. Appreciate you a little bit of my corny sense of humor. All right, congratulations on the 10-ounce silver bar, Matthew. That's awesome. Hello, Sam B. Good to see you. Randy Matthews is here. Hello, Randy. Good to see you. My coffee's now lukewarm and no Barbara Carbone tonight. She must be out with friends. She's got a life, I understand. She can't devote her whole life to me, right? Anyways, King Neutron says... Sal, I honestly like your content, but if you think the election was stolen, you're spreading misinformation. Trump lost. He's desperate and unhinged, and this has little relation to silver, so I'll des des desist. Okay, well, you're free to post your opinion. I appreciate that, but I disagree wholeheartedly um, because you're watching the mainstream news, and but there is hours of testimony to the contrary. People, over a thousand people have signed affidavits. They've given testimony in front of hearings upon state legislatures. Most all of their stories corroborated. There's been video, physical, documented evidence of election fraud that needs to be investigated thoroughly. MM126, thank you so much for the super chat, my friend. Very kind of you. Indeed. All right. Appreciate that very much. Stacking Stormtrooper, I would have appreciated the humor at the end, but I don't watch more than a couple minutes of your videos. Okay, no worries, Stacking Stormtrooper. I will say I watch all of yours, but that's all right. No, that's cool. <laughs> Mine are probably too boring. I try I try to do something to kind of keep people engaged. So I usually put something at the end for some people to get a little Easter egg or something in there. But anyways, Azura Blue agrees with me. Thank you, my friend. All right, take care, Stacking Stormtrooper. Appreciate you. Appreciate you very much. Yes, indeed. All right. Thank you, Slayer. Yeah. But again, I and you know what? And the King Neutron presented his argument in a cogent and um, respectful way. He didn't say I'm unsubscribing because you hold this view or whatever. He just he just expressed his viewpoint. And that's fine. What is a LCS? An LCS is is a uh, is a initials for local coin shop. Yes, indeed. Okay, let's see here. Terrell, I disagree too. Hours, days, weeks of evidence. Yes. Stacking Stone Trooper, I know, but I make... Oh, that's right. Exactly. That's that's true. Very true. Stacking Stone Trooper, you're exactly right. Touche. You got me on that one. That's for darn sure. Thank you, my friend. I appreciate you, buddy. You are awesome. Thank you so much. Oh, wow. 
Really? Silver Wolverine. His Twitter's been a... Uh, because he said... Um, why did they do it permanently? Because they, he, it, it, it opened up today. He posted a couple of tweets today. So I don't know. It's weird. Crazy. Like this one. That's right, Stacking Stormtrooper. Thank you so much, my friend. Yes, definitely. That way more than makes up for it. Appreciate that, Stacking Stormtrooper. You are the man. Your channel is awesome. All right. Hey, thank you, Rick D. I appreciate that, sir. Yes, indeed. Thank you again, Stacking Stormtrooper. You're awesome, my friend. All right, Kalonic Fitzpatrick says, The bubble that is Bitcoin will drive silver down and keep it down. Sad something that is fake is worth way more than something real, but we live in a fake world. We are out of touch with reality here in the USA, sad to say, but we have been for a long time. Things will not change for the better overnight, but they could easily get worse overnight. Yes, indeed. It's true. It's true. You're right. Ziggy, thank you so much. Um, very kind. It says, gold is the money of kings. Silver is the money of gentlemen. Debt is the money of slaves. Very true. Very well said. You're exactly right on that. Definitely. Thank you. All right. Uh, Matthew, will this country ever get along? I think that's the, the thing. You know, we are in a divide, and I hate that. Because it used to be... The, the the debate used to be between liberals and conservatives, and uh, most of what there was a, there was enough common ground between the two ideological spectrums uh, to essentially conservatives would be in many ways considered classical liberals. In other words, freedom was at the the center of the debate on what is meant by freedom. Usually, for both sides can come to an agreement that that uh, government intrusion. Um, on, upon our personal lives is not a good thing. Um, there was a little bit of a debate on that, but it's uh, but now it's gotten to the point where there's so much misinformation out there, and and I'll even I'll even confess that there can be misinformation from uh, news sources that both sides read or watch. Um, so you have to do your due diligence and get the information, and I suggest watching raw. Um, streams of information, like, for, like which is what I did with the election, which is why I'm thoroughly convinced that the election was stolen, because I actually watched uninterrupted, no commentary, the actual hearings uh, from those people who were at the uh, polling places. And uh, so it's that's the kind of thing you do. You go and watch the source and make a judgment, not what somebody says about a certain thing. All right, Terrell, have a good dinner. Thank you so much. We appreciate you. I'm sorry I missed your live stream Wednesday night, but I always appreciate everything you do, and I love to see your, your videos, your wonderful singing, your positivity. You're such a great person, and everybody should check out Terrell for sure. She is awesome. Yes, indeed. Thank you, Terrell. Have a good night. Enjoy dinner. All right. <clears throat> Let's see here. Carlos, not so much. When Fox News bans Biden, then it's from both sides. Yes, indeed. Yeah, that's crazy. Twitter banned President Trump permanently. What did he say for him to ban him per permanently this time? Does anybody know? This is news to me because I heard that they opened his account up again just today. And now they're banning it uh, per uh, permanently. Silver Damsel is here coming to us from the tub. Yes. Hello, Silver Damsel. Good to see you. All right. Yes, indeed. Welcome. Eric, are you going to go to the bank to get fresh, crisp $1 bills? Uh, when the, yes, they use, when they're useless like Zimbabwe money. I probably will with the new, uh, with Janet Yellen's signature on them, right? It's going to be crazy. Who would have thought it? Hmm. By the way, we do have a scammer to call. His name is Frank from Go Capital. We're going to try to call him right now. Right here, right now. We're going to call Frank. He's with 9790. Let's make this happen. Come on, Frank. Hello? The number you dialed is not a working number. What? Please check the number and dial again. El número que marcó no está en servicio. That scammer gave me the wrong number. Message 3, OH01MO. 
Doesn't that figure? Crazy. All right, let me try to call. For inciting a murderous riot. That's a good one, Donald. That's a good one. That's a good one. Okay. Okay, here we go. We've got uh, Michael with Capital Sense. Okay, here we go. Let's call this. Okay. We've got another one that total because it is now time. Oh, shoot. No. Eight six four seven eight six. There we go. Okay, here we go. We are calling Michael with Capital Sense Funding now. Hello to Silver Damsel. Fingers are wet. Ooh, boy. That's what she said. Getting to the Capital Sense Funding. Michael Thurman speaking. Can I help you? Michael, yes. Hello. Uh, it was uh, my colleague uh, had me, uh, gave me your information to call you about a business loan for our company here. So, uh, yeah. So, it sounds pretty exciting. Uh, uh, he said it was that uh, you had some pretty good offers here for business financing. Uh, yes, I'm sorry. I missed your name. I'm sorry. My uh, radio was on here. Oh, that's okay. What What were you listening to? What was on the radio there? Mark Levin? <laughs> no, this is uh, Patrick O'Shaughnessy. He's an uh, investment management guy. Oh, okay. Okay. Very good investment uh -huh. management. Okay, nice. Yeah, yeah, I've listened to him. Uh, I like his stuff. You've heard of Eric Sprott or um, what's his name? Uh, uh, Peter Schiff? Uh, never heard of him, actually. How about Terry Rabideau? You ever heard of her? She's like a, a guru, financial guru. She has a, she does her financial advice with, um, she has this little, uh, uh, what is it, frankincense? Frankincense, and she does a little thing with frankincense and predicts where the price of silver is going to be. Usually it's in the tank, but that's old Terry. Yeah. Oh, nice. Yeah. yeah. Check her out. Yeah. But, uh, but no, we, we definitely have uh, pretty good products, uh, long-term, short-term. Uh, we have lines of credit and also uh, term loans. Okay. So, mm -hmm. Let's talk about the term loans. Let's talk about that option momentarily. Sure. So the term loan, uh, which, which state are you in? I am in the uh, greater Washington, D.C. area. Washington, D.C. I yeah. think you guys have to double check my map, but uh, it, there may be a 10 year option. If not, we do have a two year option. OK. Um, you know, a weekly or monthly payment, depending upon your credit. Um, yeah. And uh, the interest rate is, is decent for the line of credit. It can be as low as one percent per month. Right. Uh, and it can go up from there, but it just really depends on Which your, on the your highest? credit What profile. would be the worst case scenario with the uh, interest rate there? If, uh, the worst case scenario, if your credit score is 450, uh, but your revenue is strong and your, you know, your, your revenue is good, your average daily balances are good, deposit volume is fine, you know, you're probably looking at 25%. Okay. All right. That's somewhat reasonable. I've heard as high as 46% in some some of these loans. So this is a good, yeah. good yes, thing. Yes, they can go up. They, yep, they can go up to even 49. I think that's like top maybe. But we, yeah. we have pretty good product, especially if, you're, if the revenue is strong. So right. we'll give a good deal. Yeah. I'd like to be able to get a loan where, you know, I get in the mail as a thank you, like a little coffee mug or something like that to put coffee in, you know, that has your logo on it. Not many keep, companies do that anymore. You know what I mean? They don't send out like you know samples of their product or anything like that <laughs> right right that was something yeah. done back in the day yeah yeah but, yeah um, yeah um, very, very so, good so let's talk about the other product we've got the uh the long-term loans what's the other one uh um what was the first one we talked about we have the line of credit as well line of credit yeah that basically keep yeah. an open line i can just get a loan from you whenever i need money Yep, it's open line whenever you need it. You can so you know, tap, in, the, tap into that puppy. That's what she said, right? Just tap into that line of credit. 
I'm sorry, I couldn't hear you. I say just tap into it. You know what I mean? That's just yeah, like yes, yes, yeah. you can tap into it when you need it. You you, you got it. Yep. So you'll get approved. Let's say a hundred thousand, two hundred thousand, whatever the number is, and uh, the money will be there when you need it. You just simply go into your portal and transfer it. Sounds sweet. What's the yep. uh, interest rate on that on that option there? So it's like one percent per month, one point something per month. Is that a, cru a curate or a crude or a cured like ham or what? I believe it's simple, simple interest. Simple, simple? Yeah. Simple. Yep. All right, very good. Nice, nice. What kind of credit score do you need for that kind of number? You know, it's not really an uh, incredibly high credit score. I mean, if you had like a 650 or better, you'd be okay. You'd be all right. Okay. Very yeah, nice. you'd be okay with that. Oh, I passed my exit, huh? Woo. What's that? It's past what? No. No, that's okay. No, I'm just thinking out loud here. Yeah. So uh, where, right. where are you guys located? Are you located on the West Bank? No, we're located in uh, New Jersey. New Jersey. We're Philadelphia PA Company. Okay, all right, very yeah. good. That's on the East Coast. But you might yeah. be on the west side of New Jersey or the west side of yep. Jersey City, maybe. That would be the West Bank, especially if you are a bank. You could be the West Bank. Mm -hmm. Like, Or uh, if you were up high, you could be on the Golan Heights. That's very true. Yeah. So, I mean, if you want, I can send you. Your number came up private, actually. I normally don't answer private calls. Oh, yeah, but... yeah. Well, you know, you know how the things go. You have to. I get a lot of spoof numbers from time to time. I mean, all the time, from time to time. Time after time. Remember that song from uh, What's Her Face? What was her name? Oh, shoot. Yeah, girls just want to have fun. Give me the name. What's her name? I can't get past converse, this conversation without figuring out. Girls just want to have. They just want to. They just want to. Or time after time. What is her name? I can't think of her name, man. I'm man, sorry. I, I hate this. I, I knew it. She used to re she used to do wrestling too. She was in a. She had a wrestler in one of her videos. From girls yeah, I can't just want to have fun. I'm going to blank here. Cindy Lauper. Cindy Lauper. Yes, Cindy Lauper. Thank you. Cindy Lauper. I I want the Cindy Lauper line of credit loan. That's what I want. Sign me up for the Cindy Lauper line of credit. She also has a song called She Bop, which is about uh, what... Uh, she Bop is a song that is about like what Silver Dams is doing in the tub right now. Okay. Yeah. Yep. Okay. okay. So, you, you just, so we'll, we'll send you uh, the application link. Okay. All right, yeah, yeah. Okay. Have, have your girl fax it over to me, and we'll do the lunch thing later, okay? And we'll talk about this further. I really appreciate it. All right. He hung up. All right. Very good. <laughs> okay. Lou Albino. Thank you. Lou Albino. That's right. I knew that was it. Yeah. Thank you. Finally. Oh, my gosh. Could not think of the name. It was right at the tip of my tongue. That's what she said. Okay. Okay. So well, that was fun. So we had... Me Bob, that's right. Me Bob, there you go. You got it, Silver Damsel. Oh my gosh. Thanks for playing along. Uh, okay, we've got him out of the way. Okay, here we got uh, we got this guy. We're gonna try to call this guy back. Let's give him a call. You know, he never did uh, get my name, did he? Please hold while I try to connect you. Oh, boy. Crazy. we got to talk over this music or else I'll get to demonetize from this thing. Because I'm going to this. I'm going to turn this down. There we go. Now you can only barely hear it. But you're still hearing it through the... Dang it. Ah, uh, he's never going to answer. He's not going to answer. Forget that. Okay. Where are we at? Let me turn this back up. Okay, where are we at? Okay, Matthew, I keep getting calls about renewing the warranty of my car. Yeah, I get those too. I definitely get those too. All right, very good. Let's go back to the comments here. We missed out a little bit on that. Uh, Colin, the bubble that is Bitcoin will drive silver down and keep it down. 
said something that is fake is worth way more than anything real, but we live in a fake world. We're out of touch with what reality we have in the USA. Sad to say, we have for a long time, things will not change for the better overnight, but they could easily get worse. Oh yeah, I think I'd read that comment before. Toshio says, if evidently dentists don't give back the gold from crowns, they change. I want my gold, doctor. Yes, gotta have to buy some fractional. Wow, yeah, they should give you the gold. You paid for it, right? Man, that's crazy. Oh, man, Silver Dam's office has the same exact hold music. Yes, indeed. I used to be able to play guitar over that. I need to tune up to it again. Okay, let's see here. Peter says, I predict that precious metal markets will go up or down. Wise prediction, Peter. Well said. All right. <clears throat> let's see. Matthew, I don't own a car is the best part. Nice. Very good. Stephen Woodard says, uh, we'll top out at $35 in July. Hang around 28 through June. Best guess. All right. There you go. That's a good realistic prediction. All right. Infinitude favor. Silver peak, $800 per ounce. Gold, $25 peak per ounce. Bitcoin, $225,000 per ounce. Winner is silver. Percentage-wise, silver 33 times. Bitcoin, 10 times. All right. We shall see if you're correct on that. Very, very, very good. Okay. And uh, Toker Talk says, I predict silver will spike all the way up to 70, then fall back down to 40, then bounce around in the lower range of that for three years afterwards. Okay, okay, wow. All the way up to 70, Toker Talks thinks it's going to get. Okay. I wish I knew what Monday had in store for gold. Buy now or hold off. I know, I know. It's That's a thing. The fear of missing out is real when these prices dip like this. And see here. Crazy. <clears throat> okay. Nine twenty-eight. What's the nine twenty-eight? What's at nine twenty-eight? Isn't twenty-four K super soft? This is twenty-four K ring of power. It's not as soft as you would think. I remember before I really knew a whole lot about gold. People were saying you could take pure gold and you can you can dent it with just your fingertips, but no. Uh, that's right. Silver Damsel, you heard it here first. Now is a good time to buy PMs. That's right. Yes, indeed. Okay. Lemzi, uh, Deutsche Bank was committing fraud. Deutsche Bank, <coughs> uh, precious metal traders engage in a scheme to defraud other traders in a New York mercantile exchange um, and commodity exchange, which are commodities exchanges between 2008 and 13. I had no idea they did that. How? There's a link to the story. Deutsche Bank, precious metal traders engage in a scheme to defraud other traders in the New York Exchange. Wow. Yes, crazy. Crazy what happened, for sure. Okay. They were committing fraud. Okay. There was no actual hyperlink there, but anyways. Okay. Silver Wolverine Fed lowered rates to negatives today. Oh, they did? I didn't hear about that. That would have been big news if that happened. I don't think that happened. If, if it did, it didn't. Uh, I don't know. Marshall Health says, interesting thought, Sal. Stack it high and wide. Yes. Let's do it. Stack it high and wide. Uh, very good. Okay. Diving deep. Says, wow, that is really remarkable. The way you talk, you're completely around the recent developments around crypto, not even mentioning it. Well done. Uh, well, um, I did talk about crypto today, but you know they are removed well enough from each other, um, I think. And you know, digital assets and hard assets are still different enough. I mean, even though Bitcoin is doing doing well and should obviously be talked about. I don't talk about it in every video because this is a precious metals channel. Um, but the crypto markets do, I think, are having an effect, I believe, but uh, not terribly much. I do think that when the economy goes bad, crypto may actually 
I don't know. Especially Bitcoin. Who knows what's going to happen with Bitcoin? It's, it's, it's out of my realm of expertise. All right. Over here, Sal Candid and Modest Opinion. Yes, they thank you. Try to be. Thank you very much. Greetings, says Benny Barker. First one on this gold and silver crush today video. Thank you, sir. Appreciate that. Bobcat says, this is a minor correction. Those who consider it as a savings and preservation of wealth aren't the least bit phased. That's right. Exactly right. That's true. You have to look at it that way. Although, I can still understand when we get smacked down like this, um, and if it happens for a couple of days and it takes a long time to get back to where it was before, that can be discouraging for folks. You know what I mean? But I do agree with you because I'm a long-term holder. Uh, for sure. I'm very patient. I've been stacking silver since the 90s. I remember when it was $4 an ounce. Should have bought a lot more back then, for sure. Probably should have bought a lot less now. I think I heard some fake news. Oh. Let's see here. I couldn't believe it. Crushed. That's why. That's right. Exactly. Raza Manaza. Turd. It says turd. All right. Yes, that's right. Silver Dams all summed it up exactly right. Cryptos are in uncharted territory of speculation. Anything is possible either direction. That's true. <clears throat> By the way, Silver Heist is here. Good to see you, Silver Heist. All right. Dusty Roads. What a massive paper silver dump because the price of silver is derived from the derivatives of the paper market. This is what you can expect. That's okay. It's a buying opportunity. Yes. Very, very true. Okay. Thank you. Silver Honda. And I still beat Rocky Superstar, dude. He's too slow on this great video. I already go. All right. So Silver Honda's ahead. This time he did it. Okay. Bobcat. I say the same. I wish I bought thousands of ounces back then. Yes, indeed. We'd be doing pretty good, for sure. Yeah, that's right. Um, Elof K, Elof F1, it seems like that's the case. You can't say those words online anymore. You get uh, demonetized or banned, it seems like. It's crazy. Ooh, there's a title for a video. Silver Heist saw me in the bath, and then this happened. Man, wow. Mm. Okay. Uh, Matty Reardon, 4 to 7% is fractional. This is a massive exaggeration. Well, uh, Matty, the thing is, when you're talking $2 for silver and, uh, you know, $70, $80 for gold, that is considered crushed. Why? Because the precious metals are seen as commodities, safe havens, even silver to some extent. Um, so, in the, in the terms of what precious metals are and what they, the purpose and role they serve, that is crushed. Yes, that is crushed. Okay. And the biz, 10 sec. I bought a quarter ounce random date AGE at close to $511. Last one available. Good job. Scored at a good time. Election frog. That's right. It's election frog. TRP says... It was crushed because the rule of law is gone. They are now free to do whatever they want. The election steal is just the beginning of this paper smash proves it. There is no rule of law for the upper class and the middle class will be destroyed to poverty class. Yes, we have become a banana republic. Sad but true. Thor Bradshaw slammed down by the riggers as Bix would say. I bought so much silver today. Teddy took advantage of the dip. Hope you got a got a decent premium. Okay. Terry is crushed too. She's crushed. 520 dead on call. I could not agree more. Thank you, Carlos. Appreciate you, brother. Appreciate you. Eli says, 50th. That's the sound of my checkbook being pulled away from my messenger bag. Wow. Whew. I'd like to hear that sound. That'd be pretty interesting to me. Starts with an F, ends with an H, or C-H. <sighs> 
When in doubt, impeach. There you go, exactly. Okay, that's indeed. Two is one. Hey, Sal, most of the spot price loss would just depressurize of gains caused by this week's circus. Um, yeah, you know, it seems like this circus this week, what happened there, didn't have the effect on metals I thought it would, um, really, because they're now below levels again that we saw, we haven't seen since November. So I don't know that that's the uh, case, but anyways, all right. Hey, Tessa Cunningham is here. My LCS was out of the melt bowl, so I bought a gun. It was a win. Nice job. Nice score, Tessa. Probably a good time to buy a gun for sure. As you know, what's coming. That's right. Slow Joe, not my president. Well, he's my president. He's just an illegitimate president in my view. Okay. Platinum Beast. I'm just glad Platinum is holding fairly strongly. It'll be interesting to see what happens on Inauguration Day in gold and silver. Ups and downs are love-hate. Love being cheap. Hate losing overall stack value. Just got to keep looking at the big picture. That's right. Big picture is in sight. For sure. Yes, indeed. Eat all your fishes here. Just checking in. Tip of the day. Buy gold maple leaves at your local coin shop. Got one for 212 today, but they are 267 at Atmax. Score. Nice job. Second quarter gold production way down, says MN126. All right. A golden gun. That's what we need. That's right. Okay. $18,000, says Donald in New Mexico. That's right. <laughs> oh, that's pretty good. Carlos Danger. Clueless Joe Craxon. Yes, indeed. Okay, let's see here. All right. Over here says, I purchased a half-ounce certificate in box. 986. Feel good. Nice nice score. Very nice score. And J.P. Morgan spoofing. Yeah. Could it be? I don't think that would have that kind of an effect. Chad Lickenstein. We're talking high-frequency trading for that kind of stuff. You know what I mean? Uh, let's see here. Hillbilly prepping. Oil is way up and silver is dropping like a rock. Yeah, that's true. It's crazy. Don't ask says I will. It will go back up. I picked up a tenth ounce kook for two eleven. Good job. Way to go. <clears throat> that grit is now. No peacock zone, says Silver Heist. Ah. Highlander stacking, I may be crazy, but I'm holding right now. Good idea. Sometimes you got to know when to hold them, know when to fold them. That's right, very good. <clears throat> All right. I'm buying the dip, says Gary Croft. Okay, Gary, cool. Congratulations. Hope you can find a good score out there. Jack says, Joe Manchin said today if he doesn't support the $2,000 checks, remains iffy if more direct payments are actually going to happen or not. Far from a certainty, at the very least, be aware of everyone who is already planning on getting these. Joe Manchin will be twisted. I've actually met Joe Manchin. And um, nice guy, but uh, he's very easily persuaded. Um, he did it on Obamacare, and um, he will fall in line. They will make sure of it. Um, they will make sure of it. Robert Preston, volume has was over double usual, traded more than open interest. Okay, all right. Okay, let's see. Let's, let's see what we've got in recent comments that have popped up here. <clears throat> what do we have? Where are we going with it? They're popping up. I know they are. They're going to pop. There they are. There's all the comments. Let's get to where these comments are and comment on them. Yes, good to see you, Robert. And 
We're almost told to the... There we go. Zena says, not to worry, bought tons of crypto back in September. Wow, you did very well then. As, well, if it was Bitcoin or the ones that went up like crazy. Rick D says, it was awesome. Sold my overpriced crypto and bought some silver and gold stocks. Now prices are rising as we speak. Way to go. You timed it just right. Okay. Fiat Destroyer says, I'm just thankful for the big dips and buying opportunities. Yes. Me too, me too. All because of loser Biden. Mark B says, all right. Rooster C says, I periodically roll my simple IRA through work into a self-directed Roth IRA. 100% silver bullion. Okay. Very good. All right, Rooster. So we're going to listen to Trump's entire speech on the 6th. He said, and I quote, march over to the Capitol peacefully. He said the opposite of some of them did. That's exactly right. I remember hearing that live, Silver Wolverine. He said peacefully. Nothing, absolutely nothing he said was anywhere close to inciting a riot or any kind of violence. Um, the people, in, in fact, I'm... It doesn't surprise me because the, because the Trump derangement syndrome is 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 gone on steroids for this last 12 days in office, and um, <clears throat> it's just appalling. They got away with election fraud, and uh, and and now it's just you know he had well over 100,000 people at that rally. Many more than 99% of them were completely peaceful. And uh, notice there were no small businesses destroyed. There was no other issues in any other cities. Um, and no riots in any other cities. No property damage. Maybe you could say, maybe you could find a, uh, one or two examples of something that happened somewhere else. Maybe one or two examples. But, um, but Donald, actually, he did say peacefully. I heard it myself. Um, we'd have to find it. It's somewhat a lot, like a 90-minute speech, but he actually did say peacefully. Yep. <clears throat> but, uh, yeah. And the thing is, is because there's no investigation into this election fraud, uh, the, you know, that's why many of us are upset. That's why we don't accept um, Biden as a legitimate president. Biden should immediately, first day, day one, in office is to appoint a special counsel, an independent counsel, a truly independent counsel to investigate uh, voter uh, election fraud. That's what he should do. And if and if we and if it's done in an honest, uh, in an honest way, in an assessment that's bipartisan, with respected prosecutors from both sides, and they do it, I think they're going to find it. And um, but you know. But we need to we need to get to the bottom of it, or else we're not going to have any confidence in our in our system. This is the heart of our democratic republic: is to be able to have free, fair elections. Um, yes, yes, they control them there. Yeah, that's a problem with social media, the big tech. They do that, and that's too bad. Um, and that's what's happening there, and that's why people won't do the deep dive research to find this stuff because a lot of it is being suppressed. The information is being suppressed out there. That's which is why I wanted to watch those hearings. I really wanted to watch those hearings without any commentary. I just wanted to watch them and also see the counter questions from the Democrats. Um, and I did. I, in, in, uh, in Michigan, there were some Democrats that questioned these witnesses too. And I like that. I like for them to be challenged. That's what it should be. We should have something that's uh, where it's challenged, anyways. Yeah, I agree, VT Rider. I think they did too. Uh, so yeah, exactly. It's crazy. It's sad. It's sad that we've come to this point where we can't have confidence in our um, democratic system. And it's really in a handful of states that they did it. Um, so it's crazy. Our gas grill says, I wanted to buy today, but instead I broke my car off to the garage tomorrow. Sad times. I'm sorry to hear that. 
You know, auto um, unexpected auto repairs are a bummer. I hate that. I've been through my fair share of them as well. For sure. All right. Let's see here. And Willie Davis, the real reason you jinxed it. That's what it is. That's right, Willie Davis. That was me. Sorry about that. I jinxed it. I said silver's going to go up and look at it tanks. Told you I could be wrong. That's right. Uh, that's why I was careful with, with my language. When I mean, when I said democratic republic, I mean that we have a representative democracy. In other words, we have a democracy on the local level and we elect electors. It's not a pure democracy. Democracy is a part of the constitutional republic. But you're right. We are a constitutional republic, not a democracy. The founding fathers abhorred mob rule. Democracy is mob rule, essentially. Um, Le Petit Silver, when did you buy your first piece of platinum? Ooh, back in the 90s. Um, I bought an ounce of it. I might do a story, a, a video on that, Le Petit Silver, but I have that bar. It's a Johnson Mathay one-ounce platinum bar. The second piece, I think, was in 1994... Um, a koala, which Platinum uh, Beast, is Platinum Beast still here? Because he did a great video on some koalas, some Platinum Koalas, and I have a quarter ounce from 1994 I need to show in a video perhaps sometime. Let's see here. Let's see, that's right. Okay. Down in New Mexico, silver could briefly hit $30, but will not average over $30 for 2021. Okay, all right. So that's another kind of um, a more balanced view for silver as well from down in New Mexico. Um, so he thinks it's going to rise, but not get um, much higher than $30. Very good. Thank you, Donald. Okay, let's see here. Okay. Rebel County, the bullion dealer's prices didn't reflect the low gold prices. The greedy fat cats. Yes, indeed. All right. Yeah, the bullion, the, the, I didn't see many. I watched some of these uh, prices at the bullion dealers, and they weren't that much lower. The premiums are still pretty high on these. They did not go down with the spot prices. You're right, Rebel County. They did not go down. Okay. Silver, Willie Davis, silver was doing just fine. And then it goes down. Crazy. PM's on sale, buy, buy, buy. But the premiums are still pretty, uh, still up there. I didn't check silver premiums. I looked at gold. They were still pretty high. <clears throat> Let's see here. Jay Boreal, agreed. My opinion is that the U.S. Mint will sell out of these in short order and premiums will be high. Yes, I'll try to snap up a few regardless. I'm a sucker for this type of thing. The Mint will have a fish on me. yes. Me too. I'm looking forward to these Morgan and Peace dollars. It's going to be pretty cool. All right. Very good. The Platinum Beast. Upper 30s um, would be nice. $1,500 Platinum would be crazy. Would be crazy indeed. Yes, indeed. But it could happen. Gold Hustle 13. I don't know what to think at this point. I'm saddened by current events. And we'll just keep hustling. Yes, I am too. I agree. Email the link to the speech. Play it at 309 marker. Do it on the stream if you can, if allowed. Okay, all right. Let me see here. Okay, let me see if I can do this. Any chance to prove Donald in New Mexico wrong? I'm, I'm all over that. All right. I'm going to play this in another browser, but we're going to, you're going to hear it. And we're going to go to the 30950 marker. Right, everybody listen to this. Tell me this is inciting violence. Tell me this is inciting a riot. 309. I'm getting there. 309, where is it? 309.50. Okay, here we go. Listen closely. Here we go. Anyone you want, but I think right here, we're going to walk down to the Capitol. And we're going to cheer on our brave senators and congressmen and women. 
And we're probably not going to be cheering so much for some of them. Because you'll never take back our country with weakness. You have to show strength and you have to be strong. It's not an invitation for violence. We have come to that Congress do the right thing and only count the electors who have been lawfully slated. Lawfully slated. I know that everyone here will soon be marching over to the Capitol building to peacefully and patriotically make your voices heard. Today, we will. Let's listen to that with again. His hands tied behind his back. It's like a boxer. And we want to be so. Probably not going to be cheering so much for some of them. Far longer than the. Stand strong for integrity. Wait we're going to walk down to the Capitol and we're going to cheer on our brave senators and congressmen and women. And we're probably not going to be cheering so much for some of them because you'll never take back our country with weakness. You have to show strength and you have to be strong. We have come to demand that Congress do the right thing and only count the electors who have been lawfully slated. Lawfully slated. I know that everyone here will soon be marching over to the Capitol building to peacefully and patriotically make your voices heard today. Boom. There it is. That's, there's no other way to take that other than being peacefully and lawfully. And by the way, showing strength does not mean being violent. So there's nothing he said in that speech, nowhere. And I, I heard the whole speech, but I do remember that part specifically. He said peacefully. There's to, for, for them to even suggest, for them to even suggest that Trump should be removed from office or impeached or anything is absolute 100% lunacy. And they are rabid with Trump derangement syndrome on steroids. And the thing is, is, is that, um, uh, you know, Trump has every right to be angry, every right to be angry over this election. It was stolen from him and, uh, and was st stolen not only from him, but from us. And so there you go. That's right. Mutant rife. There it is. Okay. I stand corrected. I got to play it backwards. There's a subliminal message in there. If I play it backwards, then it will be, that's the message of violence. There's where the message of violence. Donald New Mexico says he lied. Okay, he lied. All right, there we go. There is, okay, there we go. No, he didn't lie. He didn't lie. He didn't do anything of the sort. He didn't promote violence. It's absolutely ridiculous. And, uh, and the media and the Democrats and even these wimpy Republicans, they're all despicable. Every single one of them. Every single Republican that calls for the removal of Trump for the 25th Amendment would never, ever get my vote out of principle. Uh, because if you have any amount of intellectual honesty and fairness, you could never come to the conclusion that Trump and did incite any of this. No way, shape, or form. And uh, so anyways, the people who are to blame for the violence at the Capitol are the people who broke into the Capitol and committed the violence. Period. End of sentence. Nothing more. Just like the person who shot Steve Scalise and almost killed him was in no way, shape, or form Bernie Sanders' fault, even though he was a Bernie Sanders supporter. The people who caused the riots um, in uh, over the summer for seven months were the were the uh, were the were the protesters were the were the people who who funded it, who orchestrated, who committed it, not Nancy Pelosi. And Nancy Pelosi and the other Democrats didn't condemn it like they're condemning this, and they should have, because people's livelihoods were destroyed, lives were lost, and uh, it should have been condemned to the fullest extent then. And uh, so, anyways, so yeah, but it's a matter of fairness. It's a matter of. Um, the double standard, and the hypocrisy. That's what gets me more than anything. It's not about defending Trump so much. It's about the double standard. 
and this has been going on. They did the same thing to Bush. And by the way, Bush made a statement um, saying that this election was free and fair as well, and I disagree with Bush. But they called George W. Bush, they called him a murderer. They compared him to Hitler. They demonized him up and down and sideways. And uh, Bush never fought back, never fought back from it. Trump fought back. And uh, that's why I admire Trump for taking on the media. If he's done nothing else in his first term, which he's done a lot in, his, in, in this term of his presidency, he took on the media and he took on the deep state. And uh, I've got uh, I've got that I've, I've I can say that with a sense of pride, and which is why I think he'll go down to be one of the most influential presidents in, in American history. Donald in New Mexico, go ahead and defend killing cops. Who said anything about defending killing cops? Why would I defend killing cops? I support the men and women of the uniform. Trump obviously supports the men and women of the uniform. Um, um, no one supports killing cops. Where does that come from, Donald? I don't understand that statement at all. Who says anything about defending killing cops? I'm very confused by that statement. But anyways, uh, yeah, so we're, um, <clears throat> yeah, it's crazy. The There's no one in their right mind would ever um, support the violence that happened at the Capitol. It should be strongly condemned. It was strongly condemned by everybody of importance, of power, including President Donald Trump. In fact, Donald Trump told them to stop in the midst of the activity. He came out on Twitter, and Twitter didn't even allow it to be shared anywhere, which is crazy. And, um, yeah, yeah, I did see that. I uh, heard about that, CC, um, uh, uh, Silver Wolverine. I'd say, all right, take care. All right, have a good night. Uh, CCT, he's going to have a good night and dream about Terry. All right. Okay. Let's see here. Anyway, sorry. So there's that. But anyways, thank you, Silver Wolverine, for sharing this. I think it is important to play that in context because some people do feel the 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 overwhelming narrative in the media now is that Trump caused this, which is abhorrent and repugnant to me to even suggest such a thing, much less to say that they should remove him from office 12 days before he's set to go. But anyways, okay, Bobcat Brent, thank you so much for popping in. I appreciate you, sir. All right. Very good. All right, so let's get back up here. All right, okay. Um, Jamie Foxx, and of course, I bought yesterday. Yes. All right, let's see here. Let me... Um, Doesn't that figure? I've done the same thing, my friend. You make a purchase, Jamie, and then all of a sudden, the price just drops. I've been there. I feel you, brother, on that. Exactly right. Sean H. says, positive news means risk on. No news means risk on. Negative news means risk on. I think we may be in a bubble. It could be. Interesting. See, it's... There's so much that are hard to predict with the markets. There's so much complexities in there, you know, with the markets. Um, and uh, it's just, it's, it's, it's crazy. I didn't expect this big dip that we saw today. Um, but immediately I was thinking about what I talked about in the video is people getting scared and they run to the safety of cash. And you know what? Some people talk about a deflationary period before an inflationary period, and that could be the ones... Um, because uh, that could be the ones that um, um, that cause the deflation when you when the metals go down and everything else just kind of tanks before this massive inflationary phase. ESP player says, by the end of Biden presidency, it will be $55 easily. I'll be back in to reply in four years. Very well could be. It wouldn't surprise me, but it wouldn't surprise me if it stayed low too. Mm. All right. Nicholas Kahn says, hey, the more it drop, the more I'll buy it would be, it won't be under 20 more. Look at rhodium, platinum, palladium, and copper. Yes. Okay. 
David Carlisle, silver and gold will go up in less than a month as a dollar declines. That's David's prediction. Prediction. All right. Okay, let's see here. Eat all your fish. No one is talking about how the Chinese military is on full alert preparing for war. Look into it. Really? Wow. Tell you what, we got to be very careful about what the Chinese are doing. All right, let's see here. Yes, indeed. And Fiat Destroyer says, I'll drop by in the stream tonight, the live stream, not the frigid one out back. All right, there you go. Thank you. Well, hope you can pop in, Fiat Destroyer. Let me know if you pop in here, brother. Say hello. Okay. Yeah, I do think the, the what happened at the Capitol should be investigated. It just, it just seems very strange that they were able to break in, I mean, uh, that quickly and actually go in the Capitol. And I did see the footage where they opened those fence gates. It's very strange. It should be investigated, I think, for sure. <clears throat> Silver Whisker says... It's possible that silver is presently in a balance. I will say under no circumstances to sell your precious metals, especially now. I agree. I'm I'm not of that mind either, but I'm the one that hardly ever sells anyway, so I'm probably the last person to ask on that. Globalists are about to checkmate the USA to kill the dollar to form a one-size-for-all currency. At the same time, China is waiting patiently, getting ready to take full advantage of what's left under the globalists, totally ruin the monetary system, setting itself up to take what used to be the USA. At the same time. Yeah. Uh, well, and I think this new reset that they're talking about, uh, especially if they do it um, under some sort of um, a blockchain or digital currency, there's going to be something that's going to unite these currencies around the world. Okay. Uh, Dirk Kong, I bought some real silver today. Ooh, all right. Buying the real silver. I hope you got it at a good premium. JP Morgan ordered PM crushed. I know a lot of people feel that, but anyways. Okay, take care, fish. All right, Silver Wolverine. Yeah, I won't open that up. I don't want to keep harping on it too much. I, you know, part of it, I don't mind talking politics on here, and um, I appreciate everybody's point of view, I but I want people to be somewhat civil, too, because there's very strong viewpoints on both sides. Um, and, um, I don't want to, I don't want to, and I don't want to incite a riot on my live stream. No, in all seriousness, I, you know, people can get pretty, um, um, can get to a point where it becomes personal and I want to be able to keep an open dialogue and want people to express their viewpoints as long as we can be respectful with each other. You know what I mean? I think that's important and I don't want to be the one to kind of push people against each other. You know what I mean? So like Mark B. and Donald, I hope you guys can, you know, be cool with each other and everything like that. And just understand that the politics is one thing, but personal friendship and uh, interaction is, 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 is another thing. You know what I mean? Because we agree on precious metals. We agree on a lot of other stuff, too. So anyways. Parlor has been taken down by Apple. Really? The Apple owns them? Or Apple just blocked them. That's crazy. Henkel36 says, Nobody is selling their physical gold. It's Wall Street lies. Feud bigger than ever as we know it. J.P. Morgan, William Miller. Yeah, I don't think J.P. Morgan had anything to do with this. Yes, crazy. Wow. Wow. Yeah, it's an interesting. Parlor is down. Trump has been banned. Crazy. Coins A to Z. I haven't stopped buying silver, gold, and platinum to the moon. There you go. Platinum to the moon. All right. Okay, cool. Thanks, Silver Wolverine. No worry. Thank you, thank you brother. All right. Okay. Rich Clark. I bought 40 thousand dollars yesterday is that what you said if i'm reading that right he spent forty thousand dollars yesterday on precious metals wow that's 40k that's crazy 
Okay, and William Miller says, does anyone believe the numbers the Bureau of Labor puts out? Or for that matter, anything the federal government tells us? I surely do not. And that's another thing, too, is what kind of news and information are we going to, the statistics are we going to believe? I mean, I think that the Bureau of Labor and Statistics, I would hope, would have the right numbers. Um, it's all we have to go by. Who else is going to do it that we can trust? You know what I'm saying? Uh, so, I don't know. I think you need to look, do a deep dive. There are six um, measurements of unemployment. Uh, from, and the one that is most telling is the one that people gave up looking for jobs. And that's the U6 number. Um, but anyways, all right. Larry Lowen says, when you can manipulate prices, of course it's going to go down. The corrupt banks have all the cards. All right. And Money Stacker says, time to back up the Brinks truck. Anyone selling due to higher yields doesn't understand that yields are only high because of inflation. They will regret this trade. All right. Yes, I need a hug. John Knapp is exactly right. I need a hug. Somebody give me a hug. Anybody. Except for a guy. That's right. Exactly. Mark B needs a hug, too. We both need hugs. All right, let's see here. King Neutron bought more at $26 an ounce spot. I wish I could have waited for the 2464 dip. Well, hey, that's all right. You kind of got it on the way down, and I think you did well, King Neutron. You, you hang on, and it'll probably go back up again. So let's see here. I'm sure it'll go back up to $27 again soon enough. Hello, Multi Gun Man. Good to see you. Good to see you. YouTube is censoring me in the chat. I don't, Rob B, sometimes it holds comments for review, and one of our moderators have to uh, approve them. So if you something, if we missed one, sorry about that. Like right there, that one, Cali Ho in Be, uh, Beijing Biden. That one was helpful review. Somebody, re, re, uh, um, somebody uh, approved it here. All right, let's see here. Donald, New Mexico. I'll hug Terry. Uh, Sal, you hug Mark. There you go. All right. Uh, Donald, New Mexico, you gave me the wrong end of the bargain on that one. I want to hug Terry. You can hug Mark. You two need to make up, right? Trump's Twitter is permanently locked, says left side story. Okay, yeah. I wonder what it was that caused it to be locked. I'm curious. Azure Blue, sorry, Sal, I didn't hear you thought we should wait in, until when 10th ounce gold moves under $200. Um, I don't know. I think it very well could, but the way the premiums are now on and the premiums are not dropping at the same rate spot price is so it may take a while if that for that to happen um and it may not happen um it's crazy um so i don't know i don't know what to tell you there i would say if it gets to the low 200s it may not be a bad time to buy see if spot price goes below 1800 dollars those uh, tenth ounce premiums may only go down a few extra bucks. Really, there's much higher uh, anyway premiums on those. Thumbs up, Sal. Great video. Thank you so much, Jimmy Lacare. Appreciate you, sir. Very much. There we go. Multi gun man. Salivate metal doesn't give human hugs. Only bear hugs. That's right. There you go. Exactly. Like a hug tight. Mark B with a V's, lots of V's. We haven't had any V's for a little while, thank goodness. Pre-33 is high, says Gabby Marr. Yes, indeed. GS, they can print the paper to manipulate the prices seemingly without limit. Until the system breaks, this is ongoing risk. All right. Yes, indeed. All right. Yeah, they can print, they can do it. They can print whatever they want. And... Um, they can hold them at, at the banks or in the stock market to prevent that money from circulating. And that's going to stave off inflation. Silver Wolverine just made a purchase. FOMO is real. It sure is. And I'm thinking, mean, you know, I don't know. I've, it's a part of me that's thinking about it too, but I don't know if I can afford it right at this moment. We shall see. Paul G says, I've been subscribed for a while, man. If the whole market collapsed, you'd be the voice of sanity. Oh, well, Paul G., thank you so much, my friend. I appreciate it. 
I, I'd like to think that I would be sane, but I don't know. Some people don't think I'm sane. I know Donald New Mexico doesn't think so, but anyways. Oh, okay, there's a statement about the perma ban. Okay, I'll have to check it out. I uh, wonder where that statement is. Is it on their main page or what, Left Side Story? It'd be interesting to see. Gold is going to fluctuate in price, not to worry. Yes, sure will. 100 Ethereum and ready to rock. All right. Thank you, thank you, thank you. The actual metal is crushed. It will still retain its value. All right, that's right. That's true. You're right. Exactly right. Abraham, guess what? I have physical, and they have their digital claim receipts. So, that's right. The physical, it doesn't change. It's physical properties, and its historic uh, value really doesn't change in the long run. Okay. Let's see here. Drops more, I'll buy more, says Anonymous Mercenary. Yeah, that's kind of where I'm at, too. My kitten is a black belt. Says, hello, greetings to you. Thank you so much. Spartacus, 547. I've been saying that for months. Crypto is going to eat gold's butt. It's a new superior gold and no one else can deny it. Literally, keep a trillion dollars in your pocket. Well, Spartacus, there is a... Uh, there's the only uh, similarities between gold and Bitcoin is they're decentralized. That's it. That's it. There's no other similarities. Uh, crypto is uh, is is a really speculative asset. Um, that's why you're seeing these wild movements in them, especially um, what you call especially Bitcoin. Gold is a more stable. It's not meant to just go crazy, although it has kind of moved up and not to the level that we've seen other asset classes. Monte Gunman, Sal, I got my first Sal Slurp of the live stream. Nice. Awesome. Thank you, Monte Gunman. Where are we at? Numismatic Stacker, this is a bump in the road to $39 silver this summer. I'm kind of of the same mode of thinking, Numismatic Stacker. Spartacus would also like to point out something that nobody is talking about the financial industry. It's even though the older generations are holding on to the majority of wealth and don't understand the technology as much as younger people, they are dying at a record rate and they're transferring their assets to their grandkids who value crypto. Yeah, and that's fine, you know, that's good. But understand that if you put money into Bitcoin now at $40,000 per Bitcoin, and it goes up to 146,000, like I talked about in this video, and you're flying high, and that 146,000 does very well for a couple of months, and you don't sell it at that point, and then it crashes down to 20,000, you've lost half. And that very well could happen. It very well could happen. Okay. Robert Preston, so how much actual physical silver and gold change hands in the paper market today? None is my guess. Yeah, I don't know. Well, apparently they talked about a sell-off. That usually happens in the paper markets. All right. Very good. Let's see if we have any more. Before we say goodbye, we've been actually going on this for quite a while here sweet and sour chicken ball says who could bear to trade their silver for toilet paper even in an shtf scenario that's right exactly toilet paper is king it's king of it all king of it all john knapp has got some hash all right he's got some hash over here i knew it donald new mexico and mark b are fighting over makeup oh man over makeup please make up and don't put any makeup on Please don't do that. Hits from the bong. All right. Very good. All right, guys. Dot says, 13 minutes ago, the more it drops, the more I'm buying. This is it, people. Soon, when the lies settle and the poop really hits the poopy, the fan, after the Dems depreciate a dollar more and more with their just making more money mentally, going to buy gold and silver that saves our buttocks. Yes, indeed. Although... 
being intellectually honest here, um, the Republicans would have done it too. Trump would have done it if he wanted, if he was serving a, a, a second term. Uh, they would have continued to uh, uh, print money and encourage it, um, just probably at a lesser rate. Although with Trump uh, being all for the $2,000 per individual, eh, maybe not so much. I don't know. But anyways, okay. Super Arena says, hello, my friend. Hello to you. Thank you for uh, appearing. Appreciate that very much. Let's do one more refresh before we kick you guys to the curve. The bum rush, as Donald New Mexico said up there above. That's right. He knew it was coming. Okay, very good. Uh, Big Daddy says they want you to buy up everything to reset the big money system. Then they will want all the gold and silver back, like in the early 1900s, how history keeps repeating itself. Well, Big Daddy to A, I definitely see where you're going and um, can certainly sympathize with that. Um, I doubt that, and, and honestly, people don't realize that what happened in the 30s was not a confiscation. Um, it was illegal to own, but they bought it back. Um, they didn't come to door to door to take it. Um, and uh, so, you, really, there's no way they could have known. There's no way they could have uh, really collected it all. But a lot of people sold it at $20.67 an ounce, and then they raised the price, market price, at $35 an ounce. Doesn't that figure? Okay, yes, thank you. Yes, over here, we're glad you are here. Be back on these live chats, Salvation Nation folks, the best we are community. And that is the theme that is good to leave on. Uh, guys, again, thank you so much for being here. Uh, I really do appreciate it, uh, every single one of you guys. And and I know these live streams are kind of more the time when we do talk about other issues. Sometimes we get a little bit deeper into politics. And so there is some division. There's various different viewpoints here. As long as you respect each other and understand that we have our views and uh, we also have our views that we agree on, and that's usually precious metals, um, understand the value of precious metals, and not only that, but friendship with each other, you know. Let's keep that in mind as we debate. I have nothing wrong with healthy debate, um, but let's try to not make it personal. I know it's tough um, and because uh, I like to discuss it too. Um, I don't want to have to be get to a point where, hey, let's not discuss politics because we don't want to alienate anybody. I never, I don't feel like we should have to alienate anybody and to to, to discuss politics, even if I hold a strong view. Um, and so I do appreciate every single one of you guys. Thank you so much for being here. A multitude of gratitude. Have a blessed day. You guys have a wonderful weekend. We will see you Sunday. A multitude of gratitude. Let me leave you with the sage piece of advice. You probably have heard it before. And that is to keep your feet on the stove.